Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'll create a few basic and common material types. We're going to start with a wood material. Setting the material type to Fong to get a reflective material and loading up a wood texture. As you can see it's very glossy and has no structure whatsoever. We're going to load up a bump map to fix that. I'm also going to select this region of the floor so that we get quick feedback. Let's open the bump map settings. The gamma value of a bump map should normally be set to 1. Since this is a low contrast bump map, I'm increasing the scale of the bump to 2 mm. We now have a certain structure to the wood, but the reflection amount is still uniform. So I'll vary the reflectiveness using a spec map in the Fresnel scale slot. I would like slightly more reflection, so I'm going to increase the brightness of the map using scale. What I'm going to do now is often not necessary, but I'm going to use a texture in the roughness slot as well. In my case I don't have a roughness texture. That means I have to use my spec map again. And since a roughness map sort of goes the opposite way of a spec map, being rougher the higher the texture value, I need to invert the texture either in Photoshop or in Indigo. To do this I usually just set the gamma to 1, the offset to 1 and decrease the scale until I'm happy with the results. Right, onto the curtains. I'll use a blend material between a normal matte material, A, and a transmitting one, B. You can adjust the blend value between the two, depending on how much light you want the curtains to transmit. Of course you can assign a fabric texture to material A and B as well if you want to. For the plant leaves I'm going to use the double-sided thin material type. We'll create one material for the front and one for the back side of the leaves. The plant model is just some random free low poly model that didn't include very many textures. So in my case I'll use the same texture for front and back, but it's preferable to use two different ones. Let's load one up for the front and then we'll go to the back material and load a texture for that as well. Now we're going to load a texture to the transmittance slot as well. Again, if you have a transmittance texture, use that. But I don't, so I can't. I'll also make the material less transmittive by increasing the reflection fraction, which will make the light reflect back instead of transmitting. You can also change the roughness of the front and back materials. Normally the front of a leaf has lower roughness. And finally I'm going to add some structure using a normal map. And that's more like it. And then it's just a matter of rendering and tone mapping the scene for a realistic image. That's it for this tutorial. 
See you in the next one.